Last night, the 2024 iHeartRadio Awards took place, and again, we got another fiery, emotional, just goosebumps creating, uh, pump you up speech and moment from Jelly Roll as he took home two awards on the night, new country artist of the year, as well as new pop artist of the year. Morgan Wallen and Lainey Wilson also represented country music last night when they took home awards. Morgan Wallen took home country artist of the year award and of course country album of the year for his One Thing at a Time record. Lainey Wilson also won country song of the year with her incredible single, Heart Like a Truck. But it really goes without saying, the night was stolen again by a beautiful speech, fiery speech from Jelly Roll as he accepted his awards. We're going to go over that speech, share that speech with you in just a moment. But I got to point out, this man could be a motivational speaker had he not been a country artist, rock artist, just, just an artist in general. There's something to be desired when Jelly Roll gets the opportunity to give a speech. Everyone is intrigued. Everyone is drawn in. You're listening. There is so much emotion behind Jelly as a person, and we know there's so much emotion behind his music, but he is truly a beautiful human being, a very humble person, and he just relates to so many folks. And I could honestly listen to this guy give a speech every single day. We need a TED Talk from Jelly Roll. Like, this guy is simply incredible. And we definitely cannot forget his speech that he gave at the CMT Awards last year with the famous line of, there's a reason why the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror. That speech was something that just lit a fire under Jelly. That night lit a fire under him and his crew. And, you know, since they, they've continued to rise, they've been on an astronomical rise for a couple of years now. But even in a recent video, he mentioned that was, that was his welcoming party into the genre of country music and I'm just damn proud to have Jelly in country music. It The guy is incredible. But we're going to get to his speech. It was another exceptional speech done by Jelly. The man always speaks from the heart. There's so much conviction. We're actually going to share a couple of speeches that Jelly has given recently before we get to last night's because they're all just so good. And I, I, I love hearing what he has to say. He won People's Choice Awards. We're going to play that video right now. It's just off the cuff. Immediately, he knows exactly what to say. And it's so nice and refreshing to see an artist who really embraces these wins and appreciates his fans so much. What's up, y'all? Listen, man. Holy shit. We won a People's Choice Award for the Mill Country Artist of the Year. Voted by the fans, baby. I've always said I don't have the biggest fan base, but I have the mightiest fan base, baby. The tiniest and the mightiest. Y'all have never let me down. Thank you. Thank you to the People's Choice. I'm sorry I wasn't there. Here's the truth. I'm actually standing in the juvenile courthouse right now. I just walked out of the juvenile facility. We partnered with the Beat of Life to bring a music program to the kids. This has been on my calendar for a long How time. Not love this? I promised these kids I was coming. I know whenever I was a kid in here, I got let down a lot. I didn't want to be one of the people letting these kids down. I had to honor my word. I hate I wasn't there, but don't take me not being there as a sign of anything other than love and respect and me trying to do better for my community, baby. Anyways, these kids wrote some big songs today, man. We're going to work something out where y'all can start hearing what we're working on in this juvenile, but uh, the Jelly Studio is running. Shout out to the Impact Youth Outreach. Robert, Cheryl, I love you. The beat of life. Y'all have been incredible. And most importantly, thank you to Rite of Passage for letting us in here in the Davidson County Juvenile Detention Facility. Thank you, Judge Calloway. This has been unreal. Love y'all. Another one we have to share is his speech that he gave at Rodeo Houston when he sold out NRG Stadium, over 74,000 strong, came out to support Jelly for the Houston Rodeo. And th this speech, it, it still gets me to, to listen to it this day. My name is Jason Jelly Roll D. Ford, and I am from Nashville, Tennessee. And as of right this moment, as of right this second, on March the 6th of 2024, at the Houston Rodeo, at the NRG Stadium, this is officially the biggest show of my entire life.
There's something to be said about an artist who really feels that passion and love from their fans the way that Jelly does. That that Rodeo Houston clip of him just getting emotional and, and becoming overwhelmed with it on stage really shows you who he is. And man, it just gets me every time to watch that because that is an incredible achievement for him and his camp. Now let's move on to what he had to say last night after bringing home new country artist of the year as well as new pop artist of the year at the 2024 iHeartRadio Awards. Jelly Roll started out and said, my mama always told me I had a face for radio, baby. I never would have dreamed I would be one of the voices coming through your radio and to be the best new country artist and represent country music and the best new pop artist. You don't know what this means to a kid like me. I was thinking about it. What does it mean when a guy like me gets the opportunity to be the new pop artist of the year at iHeartRadio's awards? It means that God will always use the least likely messenger with the biggest message every single time. You can take it to the bank, baby. I love you, Jesus, and I love you, Bunny, my wife. Thank you for everything. Bailey Ann, my daughter at home, if you're watching this, I'm coming home, baby. I'll see you. I'm bringing it home. We did it again. Congrats again to Jelly Roll on his huge night at the iHeartRadio Awards. We got the CMT Music Awards coming up as well this weekend, and Jelly Roll is expected to be there. He's, of course, nominated. This is fan voted. So, you know, maybe we'll see another win. Hopefully we will. And if we do, who knows what fiery message he's going to bring this year because it's going to be hard to top last year. But if anyone can do it, it's Jelly. And to see him thank Jesus there and as open as he is with his faith as well, uh, man, it's just, it's really special to have him in country music, really to have him in the music industry as general. And we never miss an opportunity to share each of these speeches with you guys. Thanks for tuning in here at Country Cast. As always, hit that subscribe button down below. This is your latest update. But to not miss out on any more breaking news and updates, again, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all for tuning in.